Mr. John with AK Dragon Fish in 3D. Today, we're making lures. Today, I am joined by my eldest, Anna, and my youngest, Samantha. We're gonna start off by making some spitters. We're gonna move on to some wedding rings. I got a couple crankbait, and Anna wants to try to build a crankbait. Let's get started. So inline spinners. I'm gonna show the children first, and then they are gonna repeat. First, we're gonna take our piece of wire. You're gonna make your hook loop. Now, there's two ways you can do it. Do it the easy way. Take it and just loop it, right? So you wanna go about an inch, inch and a half, and bend it at 180, right? You could leave it like that, and just kinda of take another pair of pliers, crimp it here, and then feed the body over, over this. But what I like to do, Twist it. I'm give it at least two twists. This is the business end. We always start in the business end and build outward to the spinner itself. Next order of business is we take our spinner kit, we take our parts and pieces for spinners. We got big heavy weights, big heavy weights here like this, right? And some lighter weights. This is from a this right here is from a, a fish a fish lure I found just stuck in the mud one day. So we're gonna start with one of those because that's gonna give that's gonna give the lure some weight. So as you move on to something flashy, colorful that'll match it. So plenty of beads, plenty of beads, <laughs> followed by the spinner blade itself, the blade itself. So so we got willow blades, okay, look like a willow leaf. Colorado blades, which have a more spoon-like appearance. Hammered versions. So they got little divots in them, right? They got little divots. Color matters. Some people say color doesn't matter, but color matters. We live in Alaska, Alaska's clear water. Bright sunny days with no clouds, we use bright shiny silvers because the smelt, the bait fish that swim in the water, little tiny bait fish, sometimes aren't much bigger than this. Swimming around, and that's what the fish are eating. So let's go ahead and put this on, like that, like that, right? I got a nice shiny bead over here I can grab out of my bead box. Let's grab a pearl bead since we're going with a nice shiny day lure. So these things are tiny. No duh, tiny. Let's grab a nice shiny blade. Clever simply just goes like this. Are you watching? Yeah. It's like this. The inside of the spoon faces the hook. Take our clevis and our blade and feed it onto the wire. Like so. Thread the needle. Just like beadwork. So look. Family. Yeah. Spin. Alright. From this point, so you kinda wanna eyeball it. Normally about a half half inch or so. Again, we bend. We do the bend. Okay. And the blade's getting point is going to bend all the way around, like that, okay? Yeah. Okay. So then, so it's kind of got this, this uh, cursive E look to it. Okay. okay. Now you want to give it wraps, just like, the, just like the other end. The difference here, and this is why the extra material, is you want that looseness, but you don't want it so loose that there's give in the wire. I learned this last year, that if there's too much give in the wire, when the fish hits it, the wire will bend. Straight, just like that. There you go. So now we just get the tab. And we'll go from there. And once that's done, just kind of grab it and twist it up a little bit. And we'll straighten out everything. Use a spinner body. And putting it side by side to a Vibrax, it really does kind of have that subtle little appeal to it. Now we'll just split ring, hook, and be done with it. One beautifully made homemade spinner. Mm. Inline spinner. Okay. You girls want to try this now? Sure. Yeah. Okay.
So we've completed task number one. We've made some spinners. So animate this one, this large, this large leaf blade. Uh, this was the test one I made in the test video, the educational one. This is one I made with some 3D printed parts and some other beads as the kids are making it. And this one is Sam's blue and white 